Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Demon Souls. In this one we are going to be going through the um, gate that's just on the left of Voltaren. We've also got some items to pick up where, near where the dragons were. Now that we've destroyed the uh, the red dragon, we should be able to go and collect some loot from over there as well. So a couple of things to deal with in this episode. Now if anybody's just joining us for how to open this gate, what you need to do is you need to reach uh, pure white tendency. So if you look in the bottom left of the archstones there, you can see that we're glowing nice and bright. Hello buddy. Uh, this is going to be a quick edit. Big, bit of a quick, dirty edit. <laughs> There's going to be a few of these across the walkthrough just so I can make sure I've got everything correct. Uh, I was wrong on some information that I had, so I want to make sure that everybody is aware that the only way to move your world tendency towards white is to defeat bosses in that world tendency, and that it no longer seems to be the case unless an update changes it back to how it used to be that world tendency is linked to online. Um, I've been on and off a few times, and my world tendency hasn't changed at all. Um... So I apologize if anybody happens to have seen the previous version of this video uh, made any mistakes on that behalf, but uh, this should clear it all up. So just to be clear, the only way to move towards white world tendency is to defeat bosses. Moving towards black tendency is death whilst in human form. And if you do that too often, you can't recover it without defeating enough bosses in that zone. World Tendency also passes over to New Game Plus, so if you do do this too much, it can make it quite difficult to get all of the World Tendency events. Um, but just make sure you bear that in mind as you continue watching the video. Sorry about the uh, the dirty edit. Hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of it. Area. So obviously we've already defeated the Phalanx. Um, and then after that we died back in the Nexus and then defeated the Tower Knight, which has brought us to pure white. Um, so if, if there are anybody that's kind of looking for that, uh, and they've come just for that. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, we're going to go ahead and grab the loot in here now, though. So once we've opened it... Uh, oh, and I should also say, you can also get this open um, through pure black tendency as well, but the enemies will be harder, um, and things will be slightly different. With the main difference being, basically, you have to do the reverse. So you need to turn into human form in, in the Nexus, and then come and die in human form in the zone that you want to... Uh, want to turn pure pure black. Now, I advise generally, and what we're going to be doing over the course of of the walkthrough, uh, we'll get it all to pure white first, uh, and we'll stay in offline as we do that. Now, if it stayed the same as the original Demon Souls, uh, if we completely um, leave the game and then go online, we should be able to reset everything back to normal world tendency, and then we'll be able to use the ephemeral eyes to get us to... Um, to get us to, to pure black. Now, I'm aware that there was a crystal lizard just there. I'm going to come back and get that in a second. The first thing I want to deal with, though, is... Um, I think her name's M Miranda or Mirelda. Wow, that's a lot of... Oh, my God! I very nearly got stunlocked out uh, to death there. So, hordes of... Uh, hordes of dudes. So just be careful. Now, something else to note here, um, upon defeating the NPC that we're about to fight just through this way, um, we will actually drop our world tendency back to normal again, just because it counts as a bad act, even though she's aggressive towards us. Uh, there's no point in having that one, we're just going to have to be mean. Where is she? She just tried to ambush you, so I'm going to use the camera here just to show you where she is, if it lets me push through. So she's just there, look. We're going to aggro her and then bring her back out this way, so that we've got somewhere nice to face her. I'm sorry, it's probably going to make this video a little longer, that we've got quite a bit, bit of stuff to get through, because we've got some loot to get in the rest of 1-1 uh, one, one here. She's pretty good at avoiding those uh, magic arrows. Good for her. Um, she's actually not too bad to parry, but we're going to avoid doing that for the sake of the walkthrough. because her uh, attacks are fairly slow. And that's you melted. Very good. I was going to say the story, that's a shame. So I'm actually going to end up wearing those. I very much like that armor set. Uh, I think it looks cooler than the one we're wearing, and it actually has slightly better stats. So we're going to be switching over to that shortly. Uh, so next up, then, we're going to go ahead and clear out the 
area behind her. Now the item of most note down here is going to be the colorless demon soul. Um, and, the, and, and the soul that we're going to pick up actually allows us to upgrade, let's call them special weapons. Um, you only get 10 per playthrough, so once you've grabbed this, don't use it specifically. I'm going to try and be brave here, walk across, and then survive the fall below it. Uh, so we want to basically follow the beam straight off, and that should uh, allow us to get onto the beam below. You just want to make sure you're as central as you can here, then walk at the other beam. Should have us land on like that. And then... Over this way. Like so. Now it's very likely that you'll die here. Uh, basically, we're going to try and get that uh, beam just there. It looks like we've missed it. And so we're dead. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry guys, apparently I have a bit of a cough. Uh, the good thing is, we were going to go back that way anyway to get the color to get the... Um, Get the crystal lizard anyway. We're going to clear out the rest of the uh, rest of the loot over there. There's another armor set that way as well, which we're going to grab, and then we'll go on and uh, and we will head for the dragons. I don't know whether to split this up and maybe do one specifically for how we opened this. Maybe split the video in half. I don't know. We'll see. I've already lost the crystal lizard, haven't I? Yeah. If you want to get the crystal lizard, you've really got to chase it down hard. At least these drop loads of grass. It's kind of nice, actually. Let's let's give that another go. Sorry about that. So what I'll do is I will have another go at this crystal lizard. We're going to uh, go all the way down for the brushwood set, which is what's at the bottom of the big well. And then we will attempt to get the souls again. If we succeed, we succeed. If not, then we'll go for the dragons anyway. That's there. Right, okay. Yeah. Actually, I, th I think it is better to two hand the thing because it gives you a bit more of a vertical slash. What I find is generally good is if you come around the side of it, you can change its angle of running. That'll do. Turns out these are actually a pretty good place to farm yourself some grass. It's a shame that once we leave this area, they're actually going to be gone, so our uh, opportunity to do this uh, is pretty short. So if you guys want to kill a load of these to get yourself some extra grass, then please do so. I probably shouldn't use that. I've just got all this lovely, nice new grass. Let's use this. I know it's the lesser one, but I prefer using the lesser one up when I can. don't have the uh, the executioner lady to, to worry about this time around. So yeah, they, they seem almost guaranteed to drop the crescent moon grass, which is nice. So if you can keep this in white tendency, you can actually get a lot of it. Should you wish to. Alright then, so we're going to head down the ladder first. This, I know this is going to make it seem kind of long, but... A stain's right there, look, that's a horrible place for that to be. <clears throat> so we'll grab the item down at the bottom first. If you can if you can get the jump right, then uh you know you you, you can be fine, but it just wasn't meant to be. Like I say, you have to get onto this onto this beam, and I don't think you can do it from there. I'm gonna give it a go. We'll give it a go in a second. We'll try and get them souls. If not, it's no biggie. Sent to the store. So that's your first real heavy set, uh, and that is like fat boy set. So, um, if you want some like really really high defense heavy armor, and that's what that is. Such a long ladder. <laughs> Hmm. 
So this bit is the kind of... Oh, dog. Oh, I missed it. Never mind. Okay, we'll start from the thing again then. Okay then, so, skipping forward then, uh, we are now able to go ahead and loot the dragons. So I've just, I've just skipped forward past the tower, um, just to kind of speed things up a bit. Obviously we can get the loot off of the bridge whilst we're doing this as well. All relatively safe, being as we no longer have a dragon to worry about. There are a lot of enemies here though, so just be careful. It's a shame that it's not really worth very much in terms of souls. Cool, spearman on the right, and then we should be able to get there. Weirdly enough, I think the purple dragon just disappears. I don't understand why that is. Maybe it's just like kind of sad that it lost its friend. Sorry, guys, we're in a rush. <laughs> okay, so heading down this way then. Now, I haven't actually tried killing that in my walkthrough. I don't know if that's going to attack us or not. Maybe we should try it. Or maybe it flies off, I don't know. Purple flame shield is actually kind of useful. Are you going to attack me? Oh, wow. Ha! Okay, give me a second, guys. Okay, then. So, as it turns out... We can't actually kill this dragon, but we can uh, go ahead and steal all of its loot with Hidden Body. Apart from, it nearly got me with that last swing, but uh, I guess it's all of the loot from the dragon, which is pretty much everything that I wanted to do. Apart from, we haven't actually got the Red Eye Knight, but we don't have the key for the door yet. So, that should be everything for this episode for now. Yeah, so we've got we've got Boletaria uh, as clear as we want it now. We've got the uh, the flame shield, which is going to be useful for some players against a fair amount of bosses, as there are some <clears throat> particularly nasty bosses that have a lot of fire damage. So um, that is going to be quite useful. So I'll end the episode here, then, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the next few episodes may well be me uh, just doing a few location videos, just because it seems like a lot of people are looking for some specific items. Uh, so I'm gonna. Try and deliver on a few of those videos. If you guys want to go ahead, grab yourselves a few level ups, and I will uh, catch you shortly for 2 1. See you all there.